Shalom is real. Call Allah, La Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And there's no God beside them. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops. Of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Rakakwadash and Shalom to the elect whom the Lord have given ears to hear. Now, um, you know, I was watching a few lessons from the Elder Bro um Karataza out there in Vegas camp going into um you know uh pretty much various well more so of the hurricanes. Helene, and now a much more devastating one, Hurricane Milton, that's, uh, you know, hitting uh, Florida, supposed to hit Florida. And as the brother's sentiment was, you know, fuck two-thirds, they're going to get this. But you have the elect that's out there, you know. The righteous is out there. And the Lord is going to preserve you, brothers. All right? These are devastating times we're in. Nevertheless, you know, these are beautiful times we're in. Because we know the fury of the Lord. All right? That's why we out there warning the people. Right? That the Lord is coming. And for us. The hopeful elect, as it is written in Psalms 37, verse 28. I'll start at 26. He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good. Now, it's a good thing, you know, for the Akim that's out there in truth and sincerity. All right. They're doing good works. Giving homage to the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, directing Israel aright, and the well forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Right? And that's essentially the time we're living in. For the wicked, the evildoers, to be judged. According to Ecclesiastes 3, to everything there is a time and a season. A time to build and a time to pluck up. Right? And we're approaching a time that the Lord is plucking up. From your average, uh, well, you know, from your average uh, star being exposed Esau being exposed just the infrastructure of America as a whole being exposed the most high is plucking this place up for the wickedness for its wickedness it tells us in Revelation 18 that their sins have reached unto the heavens and the Lord is just getting started with this place alright but the Lord love of judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. This is Isaiah chapter 26. Verse 20. Come, my people, into thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. All right, and this is essentially talking about the final plague, the seventh trumpet, when the Lord brings His wrath, as it says in Revelation fourteen and nine, that those that receive the mark. 
pretty much um, shall receive fire and brimstone. The final plague is nuclear missiles, right? But even in that time, before the Lord allows these nuclear missiles to rain down, he's going to beam up his elect, right? So the Lord definitely has judgment, but prior to that judgment, he preserveth the ones whom he loved, as we just read in Psalms 37. That's what this precept is talking about. So it says, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. As a matter of fact, Yahweh Shai, he prayed to his to the Father in John 17 that he taketh us not out of the world, but that he keepeth us from the evil. Okay? Spiritually, the elect is being kept from the evil. From the wiles of Satan, as far as this, uh, you know, religion and just the ways of Esau is concerned. But on a physical level, he's going to keep the elect from the evil as well. Come, my people, into thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. All right, and essentially this is going into how the Lord is going to have the elect up in them chariots, as it says in Revelation 15, you know, where they look down as it were a sea of glass at the lake of fire. So the elect is going to be far away from trouble, all right, when this place is burning up. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth, for their iniquity, the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. All right. And again, I bring this out to show that the Lord is going to preserve the righteous and destroy the wicked. Second Ezra chapter nine verse five. Let me start at the top. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that at the very same time. When the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And the Lord is visiting the earth. Well, as we're seeing back to back storms, you know, uh back to black back to back uh solar eclipses and blood moons and you know uh, uh you know various uh moons. The Lord is visiting the earth which he created. It is not written in Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, was uh, 29 and 6, I think. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, with earthquake, with noise, with storm and tempest, in the flame of devouring fire. Okay, so it is the Lord visiting. And um, they say this next hurricane Okay, so this next hurricane is uh, considered a Category 5. Now, let's see. A category 5.
Let me see. I'm gonna just. Is it category five? I don't know why they won't give me what I'm asking for. Let me put it like this. What type of disaster is known as a hand of God? Let's put it like that. All right, so I couldn't find anything on that, but uh, as you brothers saw, this is an act of God. In legal usage in English speaking world, an act of God, act of nature, or danum fatal, loss arising from inevitable accident, is an, F -N is an event caused by no direct human action. It says, for which individual persons are not responsible and cannot be held legally liable for loss of life, injury, or property damage. An act of God may amount to an exception to liability in contracts. It may be insured peril, which is common, proper, legal, use the term act of God. All right, so that's Salakia, kind of got sidetracked. But we know according to the scriptures that all hurricanes, small or big, are acts of God, as we just read in Isaiah 29 and 6, right? And again, these are endings and signs and effects. Let's look up one more thing. All right. So let's just go. Let's just stick with the scripture. Stick with the scriptures. Oh. Let me keep reading. So like, here I go. My mind is all over the place today. So forgive me for that. Akim. This is even so times also the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved. Right. From these powerful works, from these acts of God, if you will, shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case 
which now have abused my ways, and they have cast them away despitefully, shall dwell in torments. And lo and behold, this is seeming like a pitiful case. Let me. Uh, as Chief Tokajek told us that they're going to try and do as much as they can until tomorrow. And he had a message. It's the same message we're hearing for people. Oh, look at that. Leaders. So it says Milton. Milton. Across the state. If you stay, they cannot get you. Milton wind and water could turn Helene debris into deadly missiles. You, they were able to do some water rescues, and in Helene, that will not happen with Milton. Once the winds, which are forecasted to start here at Tropical Storm Force Gust, once they start tomorrow at around 8 a.m., he expects that by noon they're not going to be able. They're going to have to evacuate the island themselves. So, starting at noon tomorrow, if you're here. There will not be help coming for you. You are on your own, and he's made that very clear. It's that same message we're hearing from officials. Write your name, write your number, write someone else's number, your date of birth on you, because when they come looking for you, they want to know who to contact because you decided to stay. Yeah, Paul, that is a, a somber message that we are hearing from folks. Paul Murphy, live for us on Anna Maria Island. We appreciate uh, the update. Yeah, man. So we in some serious freaking times. A time to weep, a time to mourn, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. And the Most High is plucking up everything. You know, Florida... And a lot of these, uh, you know, places down south is where people normally go to retire, where they go to, uh, you know, to make their money stretch, especially coming from up here in, north, in, in the north, in um, New Jersey, where I'm at, you know. So uh, pretty much the chickens are coming home to roost for the wicked. And may Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai preserve us and keep us. Because he ain't playing around. Right? That's a somber message as was just mentioned. Florida officials are telling residents who don't evacuate to write their names on themselves so their bodies can be identified. And that goes right into 2nd Ezra 9 and 9. They shall be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Right? I know, I believe, well, I know there's brothers in Miami, there's brothers in Tampa. All right? There's brothers in the Carolinas all throughout there. And it's not just, of course, Great, Mill, Great Millstone, but you have brothers of all camps. Out there telling you who you are. But, you know, you shake the hand, you, you nix brothers off, that's crazy. So therefore, you're just going to have to meet your judgment. It says, uh, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, they that have loathed my law. Which they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. Right? And look at that headline. It says, M, he expects that by noon, Milton's wind and water could turn Helene debris into deadly missiles. Right? So with that, Shalom to the elect.